Did you know that pomegranates have an amazing health benefit that you might be missing out on? Hi, I'm Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist. I want to share with you today why this pomegranate is so important to your health. But first of all, let's look at it from the biblical viewpoint. Because of their shape and their color, the pomegranate was considered the most beautiful fruit in the land of Israel. It was carved into the, the capitals, which is at the top of the pillars outside of, of Solomon's temple. They were stitched into the hem of the high priest's robe. You've had, you'd have pomegranate gold bell, pomegranate gold bell, all the way around the bottom of his robe. And they were even considered many times to be the fruit that Eve would have eaten. Now, we don't really know what that was. But that's how prized it is in the land of Israel. In fact, when I visited Israel, I went into all the gift shops and all around is pomegranate decorations. So I knew they valued it a lot. But besides its own beauty and its artwork, it has its own category in the superfood category. It helps to keep your skin youthful. Now, if you want to look younger than your friends, this is a key factor. Now, you may not admit it, but many of us do want to look younger than our friends. It helps our skin to protect against the sun. It can also, in our body, helps to prevent inflammation. It helps to prevent heart disease. It helps to prevent eye problems. I mean, that almost covers the entire body. But yet, it does even more. And this is really important for you women listening today. Pomegranates help to prevent against breast cancer. And so this is something that needs to be in your diet all the time. And then there's also one other thing it does. Well, that's not the ultimate list, but it can actually help prevent plaque on your teeth from building up. So there you go. We pretty much have it all covered. The pomegranate is a prized fruit. In fact, it was one of the seven foods in what I call the promised land diet. And there's a reason why God chose the pomegranate to be a part of those seven foods. And if you want to know more, make sure you catch the video on the seven foods and seven blessings or the other video about the promised land diet. There's a specific reason God chose this pomegranate, not just for its health benefits, not just for its beauty and why it was prized throughout Israel. There's a key factor in this food. So go check that out. In the meantime, how can you add pomegranates into your diet? First of all, you're going to find fresh pomegranates throughout the winter months, November, December, January, maybe even into February if we're, if we're fortunate. You can also grow a pomegranate uh, tree in your yard. I have two bushes growing now. I'm still waiting on my first crop to come in, but I'm excited about it. And they make up just a beautiful bush in your yard. I, I live in Virginia. You can grow pretty much in zones um, seven and warmer, but also you can buy them fresh. You would just cut them open and then make sure it's on a cutting board and not a wood one, but a regular cutting board. And you can take the seeds and you can sprinkle them in your salad. You could actually put the seeds in your tea to get the juice from it and add that into your tea as well. You could put it in oatmeal. There's just so many things that you could do. You could just add them in. Personally, I just put it in a bowl and just eat them with a spoon. You're going to notice you're going to eat the seed as well. Don't try spitting that out. You eat the seed. And the seeds in the pomegranate are also are actually called arils. Now, if it's not in season time for pomegranates, then you're going to find pomegranate arils, A-R-I-L-S, in the freezer section where you find frozen fruit. And believe me, they are so delicious. You can sometimes get them on sale and I just stock up and get as many as I can. So this is the pomegranate. It is so important for you to understand how God made your body and how the foods that he has given us make a difference in how well you're going to live your life. I'm Annette Reeder. Thank you for joining me. It is my mission to keep you on mission. Share your comments about this and maybe some favorite recipes you have for enjoying pomegranates. Till next time. It is finally here, my latest book. And this is such a treasure. I am so excited about this book, Seven Foods of the Promised Land. Why these seven foods? Does it really matter? Why didn't he choose broccoli? You know how I teach about that. But no, these seven foods are so specific. God had a purpose for each one of these foods to be a lesson for us to learn from. 
The way he shares his love through these seven foods is incredible. Not only how nutritious they are for us, but how delicious they are for us and how spiritually encouraging they are for us. I can't wait for you to get your hands on my new book, Seven Foods of the Promised Land. Be sure and check out any of your retailers. It's available everywhere, even on my website. And while you check it out and read this book and enjoy it, be sure and leave a review on Amazon or our website. I'm going to be doing some fun giveaways for people who leave a review. Thanks for watching and I really want you to check out Seven Foods of the Promised Land.